Men, men do you smell more than women, though? Of course. Blow your fucking <laughs> whistle! <laughs> yeah! Dear 55 in the Big Brother house, 5.14 a.m. It's the third night that Dean, Brian and Paul have slept in the girls' bedroom. Paul is sleep-talking. Oh, what are you doing? Spack, what are you doing? What are you doing? Smack, what are you actually doing though, Josh? Please explain. I want to know, please. Am I being cool now? I know where I stand. Smack, Josh, smack. I heard that one. <laughs> I swear. Fourteen PM. For their weekly task, okay, we the group have spent the last four days it. learning playground skills. Yay! Yeah. They're now about to be tested oh, and have to complete Jesus. four games in under six minutes and forty-five seconds. I'm starting to shit myself now. Then. First, each housemate has to hula hoop continuously for fifteen seconds. Yay! Yeah, look at that girl go! Go, sweetie! Go, sweetie! Go! She's got to get this completely. The klaxon means oh. they've achieved the time and can move on to the next person. Paul's got it. Concentration man. No, I know, I know. Mm. Oh. Yay. 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 We've done it, guys. <laughs> oh, she was born with a hoop in her hips. <laughs> a hula da hula. <laughs> Having all successfully completed their hula hooping, the group moves on to the next challenge. Poor going for 15 seconds each. Go. The whistle means they've made a mistake and must try again. H, calm down, take a deep breath. Someone else have a go. Yeah, you can have a go. Go on, someone else have a go. Yeah, yeah. Go on, someone else have a go. Give her a no, rest. I don't think you can. Yeah, think you can. why not? Oh, God, no, wait a minute. Let's take our own rules up now. It's so good. It's getting really, really, really well. It's like probably only a second away. Yeah, yeah you are. Uh, what's the time? Days, you days. Start in the middle there, right? There's nothing to do, we're not going to pass it. Wait, let her off. Let's go, let's go with the double duction. But she's actually double duction. Let's do double duction. I can't do it. Yeah, come on. Whatever, so what we're doing for ourselves now. We'll come back. We'll get back to it. She's not going to get it. Doesn't matter. She's too tired. Well, we failed. The housemates realise they've failed the task already. 
but decide to one, keep two, going. Three. One, two, three. Dean's first up to double dutch. He was so close so up many times. Three. K I S S N G. One, two, Cold. Dean. Dean. That's good, we all got it. Okay, ready, Dean? Go. One, two, three. One, two. Sit in the you're not over enough, Brian. You need you're, to not, be you're not on the that mark. That person with the whistle, I'm going to smack your head when I get out. <laughs> yeah. One, two, three. Towards One, Dean. two, three. K I S I N. Oh, you fucking <laughs> whistle! <laughs> yeah! yeah! Okay, Come on, back, guys. The last challenge is a space hopper relay. Helen, get first on this because you're the best. Go on, babe. It doesn't make any difference at all, does it? Go, sweetheart. Everyone on the deck, Can everyone on it. Everyone on it. Go, right, go, go babe, yeah. go. Take it off. Look at the skill. Look at that. Speed Look at the again. elegance. It's a shame I can't let it do it on pogo in now. Get on, get on. Touch on, in, go. Uh, I failed it all on pogo in. No, you Shut didn't. Up. You haven't finished it. Oh, oh shit. Hello, what? So much. So much. So much. So much. So much. Come on! Ryan. Come on, Emma! We were good all day. Come on, Brian. <laughs> Look at Don Miller. <laughs> <laughs> Helen is still trying to complete her 15 seconds of poor going. She's had 31 attempts so far. We're not watching, Helen, just keep We're not going. Watching. Nothing to do with us now. Hello. What's he going to give up? Obviously, he doesn't have another. Should I give up? No. No. No, you no, don't do give up. You keep doing it, it. Even if you have to have a coffee break in the meantime, You're Helen. You're doing it to get it. Do you want tea? Yes, please. Just show not give it up. That was amazing. No. I just cannot do this. Helen! You can, you did it this morning. You've done it already. You did it for 20 seconds this morning. You can do it. You do you it and you'll stop. It. What if I'm here till five o'clock tonight? Then you'll be here till five o'clock, but you will do it. Why don't you just stop blowing the bloody whistle? <laughs> Congratulations! I feel like I've run the bloody Hello. marathon. Everyone pick her up. Come on, one the group took 19 minutes and 34 seconds to achieve the task. More than three times as long as their target. Hello, Adam. Do you think I really done it? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Are you sure about yes. that? Yes. Are you positive? <laughs> Failing the task means they'll only have 21 Yay. pounds to spend on the final week shopping. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Nobody wants to speak to the girl who can pogo. You what? It's a pogo. Bang pogo. on the door, Helen. Ponga. It's poga. Polka. Which one is it? Pogoing. 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 Yeah. Just say pongoing or say doing the polka or whatever. It is pogo. Pog pogo. Poga. Which was mine and which was yours? Pogoing. Hello, big brother. <laughs> Hello, Helen. I'm just coming in to show you my injuries I got from the last Saturday, Sunday, Monday and Tuesday from practi practising the po- what's it called? The pogoing stick. Look, I got blister. Bruise. Can you see my bruise? Can you see it? It's really, really bad. I don't want to hit the camera over. And look, bruise by there as well. So I just thought I'd just come and show you my, my injuries from practising so much. One twenty-six pm Brian and Paul are in the bedroom. Dean and Elizabeth talk outside. I'm just trying to work out my clothes today, see what I need to wash, see how long I can get away with it in here. Maybe one more wash, I think. I only wash clothes when they get dirty. You know, a lot of people just wash clothes if they wear them once. Mm. Have you noticed that? It's not on the outside. It's if I wear a t-shirt, I can wear it two days, you know, two days and that's it. It's got to be washed. It's men, men do smell more than women, though. Of course, I mean, yeah. And I can tell, say if I go and stay at my parents' house, if the, the sheets maybe aren't clean, just because I can't bother, I can smell who's been which male of the family's been in there. 
Yeah. Not because it's not a sweat, it's, no, it's just, just their just smell. Totally. It's like a musty... Yeah, blokes smell more, mm. that's simple. And the room, that smelled like a lion's den this morning. Did it? Yeah. Oh dear. There's some interesting feet smells going on in here, though. Weird, isn't it? There's... That, well, the three of them, really. <laughs> it, it is, isn't it? It's a st it's, it's the, like the most the pungent cheese in the world. Yeah. Brian's feet are just like. Off but the but scale. Brian's feet, even when he's got trainers on, at least when Paul's got through his trainers his, on, you yeah, can't smell it. Through his trainers and beyond. Yeah. That's quite scary. That how is. Does, how is it that bad? I don't know. Today it's Dean's turn to clean out the chickens. He's made boots for himself out of bin liners. Let's get the shit out of the pen. Let's get the shite out of the pen. Shit removal. Shit, 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 shite. That's it. Go away. Stop trying to eat your own shite. Three thirty-two p.m. Everyone is in the garden apart from Brian. Do you sleep well, then, Paul? Do sometimes. Do you? Yeah. Hmm. I haven't said you've been in you though, have you? No, but I could do. Sometimes that's like, a bit of a nightmare because when I sleepwalk, I sort of end up. I don't like do real dramatic stuff. I just sort of sleepwalk into other people's beds and stuff. It's a bit of a pain. Is it? I can't help it. It's just one of those things. It's um, to you though, isn't she? No, normally I go for like quite a big walk. Okay. I have a real, real bad habit of just then sort of going like that all the time. Do you really? Mm. I'm sure a person wouldn't mind that. And not, and generally, when when that happens, it's like the person feels like really, really bad in the morning, and then they sort of tend to just give you a bit of a massage and stuff. But the person feels bad mm. for you. Yeah, they feel bad for okay. me. Okay. Yeah, and it was just when she had so much money, you could tell. That's what normally happens, but you know. I haven't done that for all, all at least eight weeks. Really? It's lazy, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, it's lazy. Would you come back to us now? I'm trying to sit down, it's here now. Three fifty-eight p.m. Paul comes to the diary room to talk to Big Brother. All I've got is this sunny afternoon. Hi, Big Brother. Hello, Paul. How are you today? I've got things on my mind. There's loads of things that people have done in here and whatever, but I mean, it's pretty obvious that me and Helen have got quite close in here, and it's cool. It's cool in a way it has happened, but I just kind of wish not in here. I just, I just kind of wish that. Sort of things were a bit different, I suppose. I, w I wish she came in here as a single girl. That would have been cool. From the first week, you know, I really didn't get on with her at all. And then, for some reason, you know, it sort of clicked and we realised that we had a bit in common and you become real good friends. And then it goes maybe, like, a little bit further than that as time goes on. So it's, it's weird. There's, like, no plan there. There's no nothing. You've got other members of the house in here who sort of shit stir a bit because um, it is comical but you get stuck in a rut, don't you? Um, so we'll see what happens, but it has made it has made it a bit more sensitive in here, and it has made it harder. Four forty nine p.m. Brian's been out of bed for less than three hours today. Yeah. Helen and Elizabeth discuss famous men they find attractive. Sean Connery in the James Bond films. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah, nice. Well, that's what she thinks. Yeah, and I just read it and I thought, yeah. Mm -hmm. Bill Clinton is a sexy person too. Oh, here's a question for you, Elizabeth. Who do you like the best, Ant or Deck? Oh, I don't know them. <laughs> 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 I like. Mm, I like. You don't know who you like. 
Listen to you, wait, wait, which ones you like then? What do they do? I don't know which one's which. Ah. Uh. Also, picking your nose. I'm not picking my nose. What do they do? Are they on the radio? No. No! They're on children's TV, Elizabeth. I don't want children's yeah, TV. Yeah. Well, neither do I on the set of them, but I know they are. I'm really bored now. Mm. Well, you know, we're having a good time. Mm. 5.54 p.m. It's been raining for most of the afternoon. Elizabeth and Paul play backgammon, while Brian helps Dean prepare homemade pizza for dinner. <gasps> Evil! Wah! Fly man! Outspeeding flies. Dean has got to be six o'clock now. What? It's got to be six o'clock now. Eight minutes to. I'm going to get you bang. Then. I'm going to get you bang on this week. Get what bang on, Dean? Love Vanessa time. Oh. I missed it last week. Can you believe that? Huh. I can actually. I've noticed how close Dean is that are getting. I'm quite, actually quite worried. Do you want to have words with her? Mm. The temptress. Oh, she's a sign. You shouldn't yeah. have done that, mate. Yeah. Oh my god. How honest of you. There you go. And how nasty Just of me. Of person I am. <laughs> and how nasty of me. There's no point in winning the game if you know you've lied, is there? Only two more days in that calendar, Dean. And it's flipping over, mate. So we're here. 57 is Friday. And then it's. Helen. Then it's the one-legged housemate. Love her. Bless her. Big Brother calls Elizabeth to the diary room. H. Yeah. How long has the oven been on? Okay. Hello, Elizabeth. Hello. And what is the general atmosphere like in the house today? I think the weather. The weather's not very helpful. I think people. Um, feel quite subdued and bored. Um, but the atmosphere is better than yesterday after the nomination. Was that yesterday, the nominations? Yeah, it was. Um, so it's better than yesterday. I suppose everyone has had a period where they haven't felt too good in the house. And I suppose mine was around six, week six or seven. And it's just Brian's, is, for example, hitting now. So he's finding it quite difficult now. And, and I know Dean is really missing Vanessa, so he's wanting to go. So they're kind of always talking about on the outside when they get out, what they're going to do, um, and the countdown and how boring it is. And I don't like looking at pun like that, but I suppose I've just got to think, well, that's just how they're coping with it, and I'll do my thing. And hopefully we can all meet in the middle a bit. You're all right. What's the matter? You're okay, aren't you? Mm -hmm. She was killing you. Slowly. What? Yeah. It was going to be weird, like when you were like, it's going to be like, because we're just used to seeing. I'm always about. I'm just used to seeing one, two, three, four people every day and night. Yeah. And it's going to be weird when you get out and see other people, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? Completely Walking down the street again. Completely weird. And you just used to seeing four people every day, yeah. isn't it? It's completely weird. So I'm a little and, bit worried about that. And, no, that's right. And I, I know what you mean. And also, that's another reason why. It's a kind of... We sort of wait and see. Do you know what I mean? You see what the outside world's like. Do you know what I mean? Because you, you don't know, because this is all, like, fabricated. You got like real people, yeah, I uh, mate in here, but it is a fabricated thing. Environment. Yeah, but I don't think when I get out here, I'm not gonna like. Oh, I don't like Paul anymore. No, I know that. No, and I'm not gonna think I don't like her anymore. You might do. No, no, I won't think I don't like her anymore. But you don't know what's gonna happen. There's so there there may be so much that you're gonna be doing. Or so much that I'm going to be doing. Do you know what I mean? You don't know, so it's one of the things you just see, don't you? Yeah, but you could still fill in stuff. Yeah. Or not? Yeah.
11.19 p.m. Big Brother has supplied housemates with a henna kit to make their own temporary tattoos. Elizabeth has chosen to decorate her hands. I'm getting bored with this now. You're getting what? Bored. Sit there with your hands like that. Put on the soles of your feet as well and you can't move at all. I'm very impatient. I'm also bossy. Have you noticed? Have you? Yeah. <laughs> what, eight weeks? <laughs> eight weeks ago. <laughs> yeah, week one. Bossy and impatient. It's funny, you know, you said you can be opinionated. I'm beginning to see why. <laughs> you do, don't you? I was the other day, I just thought, it's funny what you've... Eight weeks, uh-huh. Totally. After eight weeks, it's just You begin like... to think, OK, I'm getting to know you now. Yeah. I don't think you're bossy. Overly efficient. No, I, I don't think you're bossy. Is that bad, being overly efficient? <laughs> no, you can't be over... <laughs> yes, you can. Efficient, no. <laughs> Efficient's the wrong word, isn't it? Because efficient's a good thing. I wouldn't say she's bossy. I no. Say she so likes... what is it? Um, it's a bad thing. It's you're kind very of efficient. Not dominant, but you're very... Yes, that's, it's, it's along those lines. Thank you. Do you not think it's just the way you relate to me, then? Because I'm... I'm Do you not, not think I it's don't... just your fault? I think it's just you. <laughs> <laughs> uh. 1.30 a.m. The housemates have just gone to bed. OK, should I switch it off? Yep. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Brian, yeah. sitting over your legs spread. Sorry, Elizabeth. That's all right, sweetheart. I don't mind. I'm sorry, demons, Helen. Quick check for demons. Quick, quick check for Quite demons. Quite to see in this room. Yeah. Demon location. This <laughs> one. Oh, 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 as I've been punched on the ear. Oh, oh, it's a big demon! Yeah. With big earphones! He's evil! Sorry. Look. He looks like Satan on a mission! Those two are going for hell forever. Like, I'm gonna go to the Here's a thought to go to bed with. Yeah. Oh, what am I here? Jesus! What's that? Sorry. Oh, don't! Flame here, demon. They're all bearing with the father. Oh, I'm sorry, sorry. No, I was like, they You're okay now. Huh? Yeah. Dean? What? You know when the skip over smacked you in the ear? Yeah. That's what I was like. It was right on it. Hello, man. Sorry. It's right. Go to bed, hey. Go to bed. Brian, can you get my bed, please? I'm going to call in for looking through windows. Uh huh. Oh, Jesus, Divine that? Mother of the Blessed Virgin! Brian! It's a ladder. I don't want to know if there's demons by then. Oh! <laughs> Shut goes, you decide. To evict Helen, call 090-11-154406. To evict Paul, call 090-11-154408. Next, prepare for an orgasmic time as 4 hits the G-spot in Sex Tips for Girls. And Big Brother returns tomorrow for Eviction Day at 8.30 and 10.30.